two, one. one. Uh, hello, Cedar Ridge. Hello, Cedar Ridge. I am Milo, your main anchor. And I'm Grace, your primary anchor. And you're, and watching, you're watching Wolf, Wolf TV. TV. Since Thanksgiving is coming up, we decided to do a Thanksgiving-themed episode this time. That's very correct. And we're going to say what we're th- thankful for. I will go first because I am the main anchor. So today I would like to say I am thankful for the beautiful outro song of Wolf TV. It is just, it's on point. The way that it lines up with the credits, it's just like the- That's it, nice, Milo. Let's go see what other people, like David Becker, are thankful for. Now to Becker's Campy Choosers with David Becker. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Becker's Campy Choosers. I'm your host, David Becker, here to bring you the slightly relevant news. Thanksgiving is this Thursday, and you guys know what that means. A five-day weekend, and you get to celebrate with your extended family. But that also means you gotta talk to your extended family. In election news, as the Trump campaign continues to fight the election results, the lawsuits continue to be denied. Although there was a short victory in Georgia where 2,600 votes were found to be uncounted, the majority of them being Trump votes. Even so, Trump still lost by 13,000. Which is kind of like taking a sip of somebody else's water before giving it to them. While you still get some of their water, at the end of the day they get the rest of it, and you're just kind of weird for doing that. While Trump is pressuring officials into making different decisions about the election, his supporters are sending death threats, some of them going as far as to show up outside of officials' homes. Just last week, his supporters gathered outside of Arizona Secretary of State Katie Hobbs' house, chanting the words, We are watching you. Yes, that actually happened. Now, I know this all sounds very upsetting, but I'm hopeful that the last shred of democracy this country holds will pull through and we won't fall into a dictatorship. Now, in slightly more boring but mandatory school news, Plan B sign-up forms are due today, so make sure you all remember to turn them in if you're going. Now, I know that's not all great news, but Beckers can't be choosers. Thanks, David! I wonder if our mysterious pet shenanigans host is thankful for anything. They had nothing to say. Why am I not surprised? Let's go to Rhett with Rhett's Corner and see if he is thankful for anything. You think they won't notice with the mask? Okay. Welcome to Rhett's Corner. First off, I'd like to say that I'm thankful for you, the viewer, for giving me a platform, and I hope that hearing whatever nonsense I'm doing for the week will at least brighten your day, even if a little bit, and I have a lot of fun making it, so thank you for your continued support. Now, this week we're going to be talking about the phenomenon known as No Shave November. You know, I don't really get what the deal with it is. The idea is you go a whole month without shaving at all, but that's easy, like, you know, who who struggles with that? It's not that hard, so I just would like to hear, you know, uh, how's y'all's progress going, because I haven't shaved at all since Halloween, you know? It's just beard all the way. Anyway, thanks for watching Rhett's Corner this week. Here's this week's Ramirez Reminders. Okay, cut. Yeah. Yeah, I've gone like five whole minutes without shaving. Um, yeah, you know, you may call it an addiction. Um, I call it a passion, though. Thanks, Rhett. And now to pop culture with Katie to see what she's thankful for. Ta, Tien, Bentley, Coop, you can't catch me. I guess one thing I'm thankful for is fall weather. Uh, It's a pretty good balance between warm and cool, so you can actually stand being outside. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Now, I don't know about y'all, but when I was in elementary and middle school, the day before Thanksgiving break, they would always play that one Charlie Brown Thanksgiving movie. And I was looking through my bookshelf, and I found it in book version. And I came to the conclusion that Charlie Brown has one of the most incredible and iconic Thanksgiving Day meals ever. 
The meal consists of pretzel sticks, popcorn, jelly beans, toast, and ice cream. I often find myself wondering, how does one person come up with such an impressive meal? I still wonder to this day, uh, but maybe one of you guys knows. I don't know. That's all I've got for today, and have a good Thanksgiving break. Thanks, Katie. Uh, now, Milo, what time is it? It's time. It's time for mail. Mail time. It's mail time. It's time to go for, to Max for Mail with Max and see what he is thankful for. Okay, so for this Thanksgiving, I know it sounds like a little cliche, but I'm thankful for my family uh, because I've been, I've been spending so much time with them recently because of everything going on that you really learn to uh, appreciate them and just there's so much that I'm thankful for, uh, but my family's pretty high up there, yeah. Hi guys, this is Mail with Max, the part of the show where I read comments that you can send in about Wolf TV. I have a few here, so let's just get started. One person says that it's getting funnier uh, over each episode because of new additions and changes like editing and new segments. Thank you. One person said that they loved seeing the uh, extension of the school building. One person said that the comedy last year was better than this year, but that that is kind of balanced out by the new segments and their uh, high quality. A lot of people have sent in positive comments about uh, Isabel's new segment. The I think it's called Zen Moment with Isabel. It's a very good segment. This has been Mail with Max. Thanks, Max, and thank you, viewers. I wonder what Isabel is thankful for. I'm thankful for all of the friends I've made at Cedar Ridge this year. Hello friends, it's Isabel, and today I've been reflecting on thankfulness, as one does this time of year. Here's what fellow students are thankful for. My mom, a book on a rainy day, music, friends and family. Aw, you guys make my heart warm and fuzzy. I want to leave you with this reflection. While we may not be able to control our circumstances, we can control how we respond to them. Happiness and gratitude are not things you have to go and find, they're qualities you choose to have. So this Thanksgiving, I hope you can remember all there is to be thankful for. Love yourself, love others, and live a life of happiness and gratitude. Hey Grace, uh, you never said what you're thankful for. I am thankful for headphones and sleep masks. Good night. Okay, then. Um... On three, three, two, one. This has been Wolf TV. Oh, 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 is what I'm doing tonight. X equals negative B now. Plus or minus the square root of B squared. Minus four AC now. And she makes me wanna put it over two A. All over two A.